Hi, it's been a while. Um, I don't know exactly how this video is going to go, but I want to talk to you about um, kind of how my pen habits changed and developed last year. Um, so I kind of fell off all of my fountain pen art social medias um, after mid-February of 2023, and we're getting to about that same time, and I want to just kind of briefly talk about how that all went. Uh, so during that time, uh, I, I got to a point where my consumption, my purchasing of fountain pens and stationery and postcards for post-crossing had kind of reached an all-time high, and I also was working on saving money so that I could open a business unrelated to stationery. Um, although there is not a pen shop or stationery shop nearby. And so I'm kind of getting that itch again to like, do I, <laughs> do I need to just open one myself? Anyway, that's kind of pipe dream kind of goals at that point. At this point, I'm working on, you know, um, building a successful aesthetics business. I'm an esthetician and so I do facials and um, corrective skincare, but that's not really the point of this. Uh, so last year got really busy for me opening a new business and I was not really spending as much money on my sort of hobbies. Um, so after February of 2023, I did not buy any sort of pens and um the months from about early october of 2022 to mid february of 2023 so about four-ish months i had bought probably uh, over a dozen fountain pens and probably 20 plus inks and i did the diamine ink vent calendar that year and so last year um, I just kind of, I had to stop um, and kind of stop that cycle, stop that habit of over-purchasing. So I want to talk to you about what I did end up purchasing for myself and um, just kind of share where I'm at with my my hobby of using fountain pens and post-crossing and things like that. So for post-crossing, I did continue doing post-crossing as regularly as I could, um, using my maximum number of send slots as often as possible and, you know, keeping the cards coming and going. So uh, I did keep up with that hobby and I am still doing that and I can make another post crossing video here soon. I think I have two open slots right now today so I might um, do something like that. It is Friday though and weekends are harder for me to film because everyone's here and actually all my kids are home right now because they don't have a school today. Um, but yeah, so last year... Um, after February, I was not purchasing a lot of new things. Um, every once in a while, I'd pick up a couple of local style art postcards or photography view postcards um, because I know that some people on Post Crossing really prefer those. And I have a lot of artistic style postcards, but not as many of those uh, local view cards. So I was picking up a couple of those every so often, but I was not buying a lot of stuff. In July, uh, I did make one purchase from one of my favorite stationery shops, and uh, July is my birthday month, and so I treated myself to the full-size bottle of the Yoseka Ceramics Tang Mi Se Blue, um, because I had one of these little tiny vial samples, and it's empty now. This is a different color. Um... But I had one of these little tiny samples of this color, and I really wanted a full-size bottle. So uh, I bought this, and I didn't need more ink. Like I said, those four months prior to my little hiatus, I had purchased a lot of ink. So I have loads and loads and loads of ink, but I really wanted more of this color. And um, let me see if I can quickly grab the swatch of it. I know I have, I know I have it swatched out somewhere over here. Here we go. So 
That's what that looks like. And I actually have two pens inked with this right now. Um, is this one of them? Yes. So I have this one inked with it. Uh, and my trusty uh, Kaveco Sport Sage. They're both inked with that. And they're very different um, pens. And so I don't really have a problem having them both um, with that, with this ink, and I continue to refill both of them with this. At some point, I might just um, take it down to having one with this ink, but I quite like that. Um, these two are actually just only here to be, you know, fill up my frame here. <laughs> uh, and then I bought this ink at the same time. It's the Yaseka Origin, and um, I know that I have that swatched out over here somewhere as well. Let me, um, there it is. So I have this one separated off because I have it, it inked up. And this one's on the ring because it is not inked up. And I actually purchased a couple more of these little ink flips so that I can make little separate rings um, for what I do have inked. Um, and then maybe separate out some of the brands that I have a lot of inks from. But anyway, so that is Yoseka stationary origin number one so i bought those two inks and then this was uh, shortly after the um, eco persian green had come out which is this pen and i bought myself a, uh, a new pen so and i didn't need a new pen of course um, but i really like the twisby eco um, pens and i thought i'd treat myself to one it's quite blue um right now on the screen probably and it's it's sort of bluish green it's kind of a teal medium teal color it's very beautiful um so i have bought these three pens last july and then right at the beginning of january i was notified by my other favorite pen and ink company uh, Ferris Wheel Press, I was notified that I had been accepted into their um, ambassadors program, <laughs> which was extremely wild to me um, because I hadn't really been actively posting. And I guess maybe they just liked the content that I had posted prior to my hiatus enough that they thought to give me a chance. And I'm kind of fiddling over in my drawer over here so I can pull out the other relevant ink to this story. Um, so they accepted me into their program and they had sent me this collection of ink. So disclaimer, these three were not purchased by me. They sent these to me for free for review and social sharing purposes. But, um, I've purchased, like, this is massively like minor in terms of my entire collection um i have probably i i can't really show you all of them <laughs> all at once here but i i, I have purchased a, a quite a lot of their inks so um you know it's not not just that they sent me some for free and then i'm going to promote them um but yeah i um oh i guess i could demonstrate i do have quite a few of their inks so um, I've got all of these, and some of these were just little sample um, bottles that I had purchased, but, um, but they sent me these as part of their ambassador program, and I tried them out, and so we have, uh, Malibu, Malibu Blush, um, let's see, um, oh, what did I do with... I thought these were in some sort of alphabetical order, but maybe they're not. Um, <laughs> let's see. Malibu blush. Oh, here's the um, Cabernet on the lake. And, uh... I know that I have the, um... This one sampled somewhere. <laughs> I just don't see it over here anywhere so 
that's my bad completely I'm sorry um so they had sent me these three inks and I um tried them out I love them I made a bunch of posts on Instagram about them um if you want you can use I have a code now you can use the code Shelby it's just my first name and you get 10% off your purchase and that supports me and yeah um I'll keep making content for Ferris Wheel Press and, you know, um, I think that they accepted me into like a lower level of their program so I won't get all of their new releases. I just get some like fan favorites every few months. Um, so because I don't get all of the new releases, I actually um, also just bought the new releases. So these ones are the ones that just came out and I actually just purchase them on my own because I <clears throat> I don't know if they'll be in like a fan favorite uh, selection that they might send me later on and I just wanted to make sure that I could get the ones that I wanted and I really loved all of the new releases so it was really hard to choose and so I did not so um, I purchased their knitted nettle which is this year's <clears throat> fairy tales series there is one other um ink in this year's series that i don't have um i'm i don't know if i purchased it i am waiting for another order from them that i had purchased so kind of back on my purchasing too much stuff train and it's not even all here so that tells you something about that uh the sherry sonata this is a non-shimmering not really tonal but um, sorry, not really a sheen or um, any kind of color shift, but it's very pretty kind of dark magenta. And this Aurorealis color, I hope that that catches the shimmer, is the most stunning thing. I, I love this quite a lot. Um, they also came out with a new pen, a new carousel aluminum pen to go with this sort of theme, which by the way, I'm going to take this. So this box is ridiculously stunning so all of their boxes kind of have this kind of gold foiling look on it and this one has this sort of holographic purple it's beautiful and um it's this bottle also is something else because they've done this really stunning artwork on the side of the bottle as well so um, I didn't want to miss out on those, so I just bought them myself. If for some reason I um, received them as um, a gift, like these other ones, uh, I will probably give them away. But um, I went ahead and purchased the new releases, and then I purchased a, a bunch of other inks that are still on their way to me. Um, but I bought the Carousel Aluminum Pen, and I actually have it inked up over here with the Aurorealis color as well so this is the pen that came with this release and it's got this beautiful engraving i wonder if i can catch this. Ooh. i wonder if i can catch this on camera at all there we go it's kind of like a butterfly sort of looking engraving it's really really pretty <clears throat> So that, um, as far as what's arrived in July, these two inks plus a pen, um, and then January, these two inks, or these three inks were gifted to me, and then um, in February I bought these four lovely inks, or sorry, these three inks and pen, and then... <laughs> And then, yes, um, and then I realized that as much as I had told myself I was okay with missing out on the 2023 Diamine Ink Vent, I was not. And so I actually, I actually purchased it on sale, so it's not opened yet. It's in this box. Um, I 
I decided I did want the diamine ink vent. So I haven't decided how I want to open it. If I'll open it all at once or if I will um, make a sort of countdown or something for myself that's not for Christmas reasons. But when I was buying that, and I did buy the Diamine Ink Fan Calendar was on sale. It was very heavily discounted, so I'm appreciative that I was able to find a deal. Um, when I was buying that, I decided to additionally purchase some other ink samples. Um, I don't know why they were packaged like that, since these four are the same ink in different colors, and these four are the same ink series in different colors. Uh, anyway, so I decided to additionally get some sample inks. So these are the Auto Hut um, scented inks. I got Mist Cedar, Spring Mountain Basil, Snowfall Birch, and Billow Mint. So I'm looking forward to testing those out. I have this little tray um, that I picked up at the Daiso store, like this, that has um, either stuff I still want to test out, or um, like these, I want to... These were not sent to me for review consideration, but I do want to make some additional art content with them. I don't have my sketchbook or um, my journal in here, so I can't show you the stuff that I had made with the other ones that were sent for consideration, but um, I do want to make some art with these. And so I have this little tray where I'm keeping everything that I know for sure that I want to, you know, use for art. Um, or writing or something um, that I intend to film. Uh, and I can use any of my collection, obviously, for stuff like that. But I just wanted to keep these separate for a little while so that I can remind myself and be inspired and things along that line. <laughs> Anyways, so again, still just talking about recent purchases of things that I already have received. Um, I bought, um, oh, I guess I don't really have it in here because I'm waiting for it to dry, but I purchased this, um, and I just, I just made the video for it, um, and I have not uploaded it to Instagram yet, but I purchased my first, um, it's called the Sailor Hokoro pen, and it is a dip pen and the tip is removable and can be inverted in t inside of the uh, handle. Handle. I can't think of the word right now. Uh, for protection and it also has a tiny little like a mini feed almost so that can hold a little more ink. It's um, drying <laughs> right now because I, I cleaned it out so I don't have it in here, but it also came with one of their Sailor Dipton pens. They have, I guess, a lot, um, a shimmer that they don't really suggest that you put into a fountain pen. Although I've put plenty of shimmery inks into fountain pens with no issue. This one is recommended or designed only for dip pen use. And um, so that one also is very stunning and beautiful. Look at that. It's so incredible. It, um... Yeah, it's very pretty. I quite like it. And um, in addition to that, I I mentioned that I have been on a quest to find a local pen shop. And I have been very sorely disappointed. Um, about an hour and ten minutes away from me, there is... Uh, a shop, like a letterpress print shop, and I was able to find loads of stationery, um, some postcards, but not very many, and a couple of, couple of options for cartridge inks, and a couple of options for the Pilot Kakuno pen. I have owned three of these in the past that I've passed on to, um, all, passed all of them on to my kids. Well, Two of them I bought for myself and gave to each of my daughters. Um, and then one of them I had bought specifically for my son in a color he would like. So 
Um, I bought this while I was was there. I didn't want to leave empty-handed, um, and I don't currently have a Kakuno in my collection, and um, I kind of like this pen. It's really sort of simplistic, and um, green's my favorite color, so I purchased the one with the green cap. And um, these are pens that take a cartridge or converter, and with all of the other ones that I have purchased, I have taken the cartridge out and put a converter in because my kids like to use my ink collection. So I've decided that for the time being, I'm going to use up all of these cartridges that I have stored away um, in this pen. So it's just going to be a kind of a generic black ink pen right now. And then that was a little over almost two weeks ago that I found that shop. And then more recently, I was checking a different city about 50 minutes away from me for for whatever they might have. And I did not find anything beyond the Pilot Parallels and some random calligraphy supplies. So I have not opened this yet. I am uh, pretty familiar with how it works. Um, but... Yeah, so I picked up the 2.4 millimeter nib. Um, maybe you can see that. Uh, so I'm going to be trying that out soon, um, but we will see how I like that. Let me put that back into that little box. And last but not least, what arrived today. Um, I'm going to open these on camera. They have not been opened yet. I really, like I mentioned, I really love collecting the Twisby Eco pens. I have quite a few of them. They are, without a doubt, my favorite pens. I think that this is not all of my collection. I have the black and I have the transparent blue. And I don't know if I have one more than that. But, um... Let me, these ones are empty, and so I had them stored in my drawer here. Um, green is my favorite color, by the way. <laughs> you couldn't quite tell by the pastel mint green desk. Um, and my excessive need to have green inks. <laughs> but, um... Of the pens that were released last year, we got the Eco, I say we got, I didn't purchase, but we as Twisby Eco fans, we got the, um, the Saffron Eco Tea, we got the Heat Eco, uh, this Persian Green, we got a cream color with, I think, gold trim, a, uh, kind of blue, navy blue with... Uh, bronze trim and the Rosso, which is a red eco tea pen. So, um, of the other ones that were released in the last year, um, I wanted to buy these two for my collection. Um, I would love to have all of them, but I just couldn't bring myself to purchase that many new pens, especially with. Um, you know, I had purchased this um, aluminum carousel pen, and I just had to stop myself somewhere. So I got the um, the Eco T in the Rosso color. Oh, okay. Um, so this is new to me. The last pens that I received, I don't think I've seen this um, green color insert. The only other eco tea that, oh, this is taped, of course it is. Um, it's been a while since I opened one of these, can you tell? The last, and maybe the only other eco tea that I have, is the Royal Jade Rose Gold, which came in a collectible gift box. So maybe all of the eco teas have this green. Um, I think the standard eco pen, it's red. Not that that matters. Uh, so... Let me extract the pen, and I'm not going to ink either of these up right now, and I might not ink e 
ink them up in the near future, but it's this beautiful kind of strawberry red color. Um, looks like I might have gotten it in the medium nib. Um, I don't know. I don't want to pull that off there right now because I usually use like a paper towel and help myself grip it. But I'm pretty sure it's a medium nib. It looks like medium nib. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. So I have that new one in my collection now. And this is the only red pen that I have now. Um, I did have a Kakuno in red. That was for my son, but this is the only red that I am adding to my own collection. So that is new for me. And then the other one that I could not pass up and I wanted to make sure I got before it was all out was the special edition. It is bronze. It's I think it's called indigo blue and bronze. Okay, so this does have red <laughs> as the lining. That must be the difference is the eco tea has a green and the um, Ecos have the red lining. Yeah, the only other Eco tea that I did it again. The only other Eco tea that I have is the one that came in a gift box. And yes, I do always take these stickers and just put them on the back of the case. I, I don't want to lose this one and it just seems to make sense for me to put them there. So this lovely guy I'm going to have to edit that part out. My son is playing games and he is yelling. So this is the, I believe it's called Indigo or Deep Navy or something. And it's got the bronze trim. And as you can see, the other pens have the silver trim. Um, but the other special edition pen is this one that I have. And it's got the rose gold trim, which on camera may not be visible the difference between the rose gold and the bronze, but in person it is a slight and um, visible difference. And I am noticing that the rose gold has the trim here and here, and then the um, piston fixing here is also a like pinkish rose gold color. Whereas on this one, They've just used their standard black. Oh, that's a beautiful nib though. It's a lovely bronze nib. Oh. Let me see if I can hold something up to help you see that better. It's really lovely. Let me quickly show you the difference here. So this one's got that pretty nib. And this one is actually a bold nib. So, yeah, you can see the difference there on the nibs as well. Oh, knocking everything over here. So this is a bold nib. And um, I do have an eco with a bold nib. Let's see, it's my black one, I think. And I really like that bold nib. I I think that the Twisby Ecos are the only pens that I have that I don't have a real strong preference for the nib size. Now, some of my pens I really prefer to have like a medium. And depending on the brand, I like the fine as well. And some of them, I just really prefer those medium to fine. Um... But with, and with the Cavecos, I either like their extra fine or their bold and not really their in-betweens at all. But with the Twisby pens, I am actually quite fond of all of the, what was this one? Was extra fine? Nope, this one's regular fine. Um, I do have an extra fine. Let me figure out. I think it's this. I think it's this one. Yeah. So I, I actually quite enjoy, though, I, I'm kind of losing my train of thought here. I quite enjoy 
all of the range of sizes. So I have all of the range of sizes. Um, obviously these ones kind of don't count because I haven't used them. But that being said, among all of the other Twisby pens, I have the extra fine, the fine. Um, I don't know if this one's a fine or a medium. I think I already checked. I think that one's a fine. Um, and I do have a medium and a... This one's fine also. Um, I believe that my transparent blue is a medium and then my black one is a bold and then this one is actually a stub nib so it's quite chunky um, so i have i have now tasted the entire range of the twisby eco nib sizes and i like them all um I'm not sure that I could pick a favorite because I have found um, that depending on the scenario, I, I do like all of them. So I'm quite thrilled about that. And I I think that so far this is the only range of pens that I've tried that I desperately love all of the nib sizes. So uh, I can't really go wrong with that. But um, these are my... These are my currently inked, and then I do have my my black one is currently inked as well, although it is nearly out because it has been inked for quite some time. Um, so um, because the black one is a bold nib, when it is when I'm done using that, I will ink up this one so that I have another bold one in my rotation of my Twisby pens. Um, not sure what I will use yet. I will say that the Royal Jade Rose Gold came in a gift set with the Twisby Midnight Blue, and I commented that at the time, I, I when I was reviewing that pen at the time, I said this was the wrong <laughs> ink for that pen because it's not the right color. <laughs> um, and I understand that everybody likes a blue ink, but I just felt like it was a missed opportunity to include a beautiful emerald or jade kind of green. Um, anyway, I have been using this Twisby pen, or sorry, this Twisby Midnight Blue in my transparent blue Twisby Eco. And um, I just finished cleaning that out because it ran out. So what will probably happen is when my other bold um, is used up and I clean it out, I will probably pair these two together. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I have so many other inks that I could put in it. It's sometimes it's hard to choose. Um, and then this one. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll have a lovely strawberry red ink in the um, Diamine Inkvent calendar that I'll want to put in here. We'll see. But anyway... Let me know if you have any, oh gosh, I'm sorry, this video is quite long, and I'm really appreciative if anybody actually made it to the end. Um, I guess what I was going to say is let me know if you have any ideas of how I could open the Diamine Inkvent 2023. Now, months after Advent season has ended, um, what would you do? How would you go about that? Um, it's a 24 ink samples plus a um, full-size bottle of a different color, so 25 new inks. Um, I don't know what I could count down to. Uh, the only things that I could imagine counting down to uh, will happen near the mid to end of year, and I would like to open it sooner than that. So um, I like the idea of, of opening a new one every day, I just don't know when to start. So. I would appreciate your thoughts on that. And then um, any other thoughts or ideas, um, this open conversation in the comments of this video, please, about anything, pens, stationery, etc. Uh, I do have another Ferris Wheel Press order coming soon. Um, but beyond that, uh, that was mostly just me kind of catching up on the releases from last year that I wanted to get. Um... So it may have seemed like a big overpurchase, but I didn't buy everything that released last year, just my favorites um, that I had not purchased. But 
yeah so i um i will be back soon probably with some post crossing videos some more ink videos things like that but uh yeah welcome welcome back to the channel i guess me and everybody and i will see you soon